Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dawson, or The Carolama, and in this video, this little review unboxing, I'm going to be taking a look at the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Pop Funko of Rocket and Potted Groot. Oh, oh my god, he's so adorable. I love the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I think it's one of the funnest Marvel movies there is. Um, I think the other movies are amazing. I've watched them all. I all thought they were pretty good. Uh, the Thor ones could be better, but I digress. All Marvel movies are awesome, and the Guardians of the Galaxy is no exception. And when I saw this on the Hot Topic website, I had no idea they were making it. I don't keep up with pop bottle, pop news or anything, or Funko news. I basically see it through my YouTubers I watch, or on Facebook, or on my Twitter. But when I saw this guy on the website, I was like... I have to have this, because Groot and Rocket are probably the two best characters in the whole movie. I think Star-Lord, his comedic factor is amazing, but just Rocket's attitude and Groot's like childish nature, it, it, it adds so much to a Marvel movie that we really, really needed. So here's the front of the package. As you can see, there's a little pot of Groot, Groot in his hands, and also on the art of the box. Uh, the little San Diego Comic Con uh, exclusive sticker, uh, which is the Funko sticker. The back, which also is amazing. Like, I can show you, like, with the Doctor figure, you can see that his art is taller. Oh, I'm trying to line him up. His art is a little bit taller. And I think that they actually, like, got the size down right with he's a little bit shorter because he's a raccoon. Um, yeah. Ah, so amazing. Here's the back. And it has... Uh, uh, Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Drax, Gamora, and Star-Lord Unmasked. Uh, probably going to eventually get them all. Um, I want at least one pot of Groot. I know there's like a ton of pot of Groots out there. Like every single store online or every single store uh, that you go to has like their own exclusive Groot, potted Groot, or dancing Groot, what they call them. Uh, but I think I want at least one pot of Groot and uh, all the rest of the guys. So that's really, really cool. There they all are. Look at Drax all adorable. It's kind of hard to make Drax adorable because David Batista is such a buff, angry looking guy in the movie. But it's it, he looks adorable. I'm sorry. He looks adorable. All of them look adorable. Grimoire looks adorable. Uh, Groot looks adorable. Star-Lord looks adorable for a robot mask adorableness. But, uh, and here's the other side, the little window view. And then the top of the box if you want to see it, which is not really that great. Like I do in all my videos, uh, you should go follow Twitter. Follow the original Funko on Twitter at the original Funko, and also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash original Funko. So there they are. So if I messed up, you can just type them in. Uh, there we go. All focused. All beautiful and focused. Or you can just look them on uh, Google and follow them there. Uh, so I'm gonna unbox this guy. Um, I know people are like, "Oh my God!" But it's an exclusive. Why are you opening him? Why are you? Why are you exposing him to the, the disgusting air that is the real world? You had to have Comic Con air in it. Oh my god, blah, blah, blah. I gotta open them because I'm doing an un unboxing review and I want to see the figures outside the box. I will put them back. I do uh, have all of my figures in box in my collection on my shelves. But uh, I do open them all up just to see what they look like. So this guy, I don't want to bend the packaging, I don't want to bend the box the box is in amazing condition. And just like with every Marvel Funko Pop, ooh, I don't want to bend the spring on him. <laughs> oh, he's stuck. Just like with every other Marvel Pop model, here's a bobblehead. But since he's so small, the bobble's not like as crazy as a lot of the other ones are. Oh, he's so adorable. I love Rocket. Rocket Raccoon is probably one of the coolest characters. Like I said, he's very, uh, he's a big mouth for such a little guy. He's a very, um, what should I say? He's very um, tempered. He's a tempered guy. Um, and there's little potted Groot. So adorable. Let me steady my hand. Let me grab my hand so he's all steady. Little potted Groot. So adorable. Such a lot of detail for such a small pop. Uh, the Groot wise. Like the dirt is all sculpted. And you can plainly see like little clumps of dirt in there. And um, the figure on the top, you can see different spikes on his head. 
and uh, his arms are all across, like he's dancing, like he's grooving, like gro grooving Groot, um, and also like the little bark lines in it. Rocket looks amazing. Uh, the different patterns on his face are awesome. Um, the statch, the statch, the little stance he's in um, is not. This is a different suit. Um, he's wearing a blue suit, and this one, and this one is a red suit, or not red suit, orange suit. So the uh, regular. Funko Pop is in his orange suit, but uh, this guy's amazing. He's <coughs> excuse me. His uh, detail is amazing. You can actually see like little lines in his fur, so it kind of looks um, matted and furry. His feet are really big because it is like a Funko Pop, so their feet are, and their features are very exaggerated. His tail is pretty detailed, especially for being on the back. Uh, a lot of fun, fun, Funko Pops, like you can display them any which way, you can sp display them in the front, or on the side, or on the other side, or you can see on the back, and they're all detailed, and they're all amazing, Funko does a great job with the detail, sometimes the paint's a little bit off, but these figures, how much small detail there is, there is no paint mistakes, it, it, all looks good. It all looks amazing. Oh, oh wait, oh I found a little paint, a little splotch, a little mistake, right on the side of his head. You can see there's a little bit of bleeding, right onto his little face, his little eyebrow. But since I do have him in the box, you really can't see that front on unless you're really, really looking for a paint mistake or a paint application mistake, whatever you want to say. But this figure, I picked him up for like ten bucks, super cheap, super cheap. 15 bucks, no, 15 bucks, um, so still really cheap, and he's an amazing figure, he's a lot smaller than a lot of other Funkos, I don't have other Funkos out of the box, but I can bring in, let's bring in Ant-Man, since he's another small pop, this is a normal size pop, but you understand like the little thing, so here is an Ant-Man pop, I put him kind of where Ant-Man would be, he's still a small figure, I should probably do it on the other side, that would make a little bit more sense, so he is a smaller pop, you can see, so they got his little stature right, he got his little height right, um, and just still, still an amazing, amazing figure. And the bobble works for me and for this little guy. He's all, he's dancing Groot, so you know Rocket's in there dancing with him, just like rocking his head back and forth. So yes, if you guys can get your hands on this like online, um, like on like a second hand pop thing or like you know like those little Facebook pages where you can sell pops and stuff, if you can find those on that. We're going to find him on the Hot Topic website. Pick him up. He's a great figure and a great little addition to your collection, especially if you like Groot and Rocket. It's a two-in-one deal, and it's adorable, and it's awesome. So like I do with all my videos, I'd like to end them off by saying I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, like, subscribe, favorite, share this with your friends. Sharing is caring. Sharing is what these videos out there. And, um, yeah. I also want to show these in this video, um, this is not a review, but I bought these the other day, I think they're awesome, so this is going to be a little quicker review before I end off the video, uh, legitly. I picked up this Batman Rubber Duppy, Rubber Duppy, Rubber Ducky, and this um, Flash Rubber Ducky, um, and I think they're both adorable. The Batman's probably my favorite, even though Flash is my favorite DC superhero. Um, I don't like the pupils that they gave in his eyes, I think that's kind of weird. Especially since Batman doesn't have pupils. I can understand if Batman had pupils and they're just doing like the little pupil thing. But Flash doesn't have pupils when he's wearing the suit. Why do they do that? But the they're they're both awesome and they light up. They light up. It's so stupid. It's so stupid, but I love them. I bought them for like two bucks a piece. It's like four bucks for these little guys. I bought them at CVS, so if you go to your local CVS, pick these guys up. They're super cheap. They're like I said, they're a dollar ninety nine. And uh yeah. So I'm gonna end up the video legitly. I hold the figure up again so you know what this review is about by saying I thank you guys for watching, hope you all enjoyed and I will speak to you guys soon bye